770 KCBQ. Carly Fiorina joins us. She would like to have Barbara Boxer's job and uh, and sit there next year. Uh, that would be nice, wouldn't it, to have someone other than Barbara Boxer sitting in the uh, in, in the House of Representatives there with the House and the Senate listening to the president. Can only anticipate. Can only just imagine what that speech could be like next year. Good morning, Carly. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Are you chomping at the bit? Do you want to be there, or is it is it more uh, well more enjoyable this year to watch from the couch and take notes? <laughs> well, certainly, I look forward to beating Barbara Boxer, uh, and she is a uniquely failed senator, as we've talked about many times. And you know, never met a tax increase she didn't like, never met a spending bill she didn't like. I mean, this is a woman who believes cap and trade is absolutely critical, and that uh, the public option is the answer to the health care. Reform problem. Do you think she's going to try to reinvent herself as the president does in the State of the Union message tonight and, uh, you know, just try to appear he's more for the middle class and he's really an anti tax guy and look at how we're tightening our belt? Will she do that? Well, well, I don't think she can. I think the voters of California are smarter than that and she has a long 18 year record in the Senate that I will not permit her to run away from. Uh, she's voted very, very consistently uh, for tax increases, for ridiculous bills like cap and trade, and against things like uh, body armor and extended leave for our fighting men and women in uniform. What do you make of the push that the president's unveiled now, and then we see all this in the pre and the post analysis with the speech, but the uh, you know this uh, what is it, $250 billion cuts, but keeping defense and veterans issues, and uh, ironically, amazingly, some of the things that Obama on multiple occasions was campaigning against, because McCain was talking about some of this stuff back in the last elections, now he's embracing it. Um, you buy it? No, I don't buy it. And, you know, since the day I declared my candidacy on November 4th, I have been talking about two critical priorities, job creation and cutting federal spending. And from what I've seen of this State of the Union address so far, there's gimmicks, but no real solution. So, for example, giving a tax credit to small businesses is a gimmick. Giving real tax cut to businesses, small innovators, entrepreneurs, is substantive. Uh, saying that you're going to freeze federal spending in 17% of the budget when you've already increased it in 2009 by 22% isn't substantive. It's a gimmick. Uh, appointing a commission to study the deficit isn't substantive. It's a gimmick. We He's don't big on those. That, you know, that's a big thing. He's in front of audiences all the time with teleprompters standing by, whether it's five people or sixth graders or whomever, and, and giving speeches. But maybe America is finally fed up with them, with the speeches. Well, you know, we got it. I think they are. I think people have figured out that a beautiful speech lasts about five minutes, and policies can last forever and do lasting damage. We need people in Washington, and I think this is why we need fewer career politicians and more people who've spent their life in the real world. We need people in Washington who know what every family and every business knows. You have to prioritize, and you have to learn to say no. Prioritizing means we're going to put a real priority on cutting federal spending, not studying it, but cutting it. And that means we have to start clearing away the thicket of agencies and regulations and bureaucracy that hasn't been held accountable for decades and that is spending more and more of our money. Well, there's, uh, there's plenty to chew on, as usual. And in State of the Union messages, every president comes out and says things, and I think a lot of people in America assume that just because it's been said, it's suddenly law. It's not. I mean, we'll see the budget come out next Monday, I believe, and we'll, we'll find out what else is in there after the rhetoric, and, and that's where the heavy work begins. And for now, we have yeah. Barbara Boxer in the Senate. But, you know, if you can get in there and change that. It'll be about $1.3 trillion, apparently. So, you know, Mark, I may have said this to you before, but I've managed billion-dollar budget all my career and I know if you give me if you show me a billion dollars that nobody's accountable for that's never been scrutinized that never no one's ever been told to look at it I'm sure every dollar is being spent wisely and well I guarantee you there's hundreds of millions of dollars 
of ways. Yeah, there, there's always something else. And let, me, uh, let me ask you real quickly about this, Carly Fiorina. One of the big stories in San Diego today is that the city of San Diego says, well, we've cut about everything we can cut, so now we've got to cut fire services. So 13 fire stations are going to have these rotating brownouts, which seems to me to be, the, you know, it's the essence of government protecting the public. And, and you know what a scam this is, where they're saying, well, some of the engines will be idled. We're going to save some money because yeah, the, 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 the not-so-subtle message is unless you embrace more tax increases, this is what you get. That's exactly right, and it's a failure to prioritize and a failure to represent the people who elect our representatives to serve. It is absurd. Right, it well. is offensive. It is offensive to say to the American taxpayer, you're going to have to give up the highest priority responsibility of government, which is to protect its citizens, because we in Washington are too profligate and have been there too long to actually do the heavy lifting of saying, these things are not priority, we're not spending the American taxpayers' money wisely and well, we are going to cut them. Carly Fiorina, website is? Carly for California, Carly for CA.com. All right, talk to you soon. Appreciate the update. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. 1170 KCBQ.